हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथमेटिक्स अनलीच वे कंसेप्ट रूल्स सो व्हाट वी विल बी स्टडिंग टुडे टुडे वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज व्हाट आर दे हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस इन देम एंड हाउ वी विल प्रोसीड इन ईच ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड इन दैट आल्सो वी विल बी डिवाइडिंग द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इनटू इजी लेवल मीडियम लेवल एंड देन हार्ड लेवल स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ओनली आई वांट टू कन्वे दैट यू हैव टू सॉल्व ईच एंड एवरी टाइप ऑफ question but with a smart trick okay do not solve by using your hard work type of pattern hard work is good but you have to be smart with your work when you will be smart you can achieve your goal better way okay so students before beginning our lecture please like and share this video if you find it important to your friends and even family members who are in class 10th okay and also you can subscribe my channel right here subscribe it okay and to receive regular notifications please press the bell icon today we will be starting trigonometric identity series before starting this series we have to first understand what is trigonometric identities so this is the definition of trigonometric identities an equation involving trigonometric ratios of an angle is said to be trigonometric identity if it is satisfied for all values of theta for which trigonometric ratios are defined so basically it is an equation for some value of theta and the uh, for different values of theta the trigonometric ratio should be defined okay this must be a little bit complex part for you but now we will start with the trigonometric identities and slowly slowly you will understand the concept so guys let us start with the question answer part of trigonometric identities first of all remember there are three types of trigonometric identities and by observing their trigonometric ratios we have to find out the particular trigonometric identities okay now this is a question this is level and easy level okay at first we will go through easy level then medium then tough and then the toughest one okay so this is a first question how to identify which trigonometric identity we should use to solve this this is the first question your mind will ask for during solving the paper okay so 1 plus cos square theta cos square theta and this is equals to 1 we have to prove that this equals to 1 at first we have to take lhs and rhs okay so this is our lhs we have to start obviously with this part now which identity to put so that we can proceed cot and cos we don't have any much detail about cos and we can see 1 plus cot square theta here and we know that 1 plus cot square theta cot square theta is cos x square theta okay now cos square theta plus 1 upon cos x square theta what we will do in next step it's very easy this is 1 plus 1 upon cos x square theta and this is cos square theta this will remain as it is and 1 upon cos x square theta is sin square theta why because sin theta equals to 1 upon cos x theta from trigonometric ratios chapter if you have any doubt you can go through the trigonometric ratio series which i have uploaded already you can go through it in place playlist section you can easily differentiate among these series okay so go to the playlist section in my channel and get through those videos cos cos square theta plus sin square theta again there is an identity cos square theta plus sin square theta is equals to 1 so we will get 1 lhs equals to rhs now next part in next part we can see 1 upon 1 plus sin theta 1 upon 1 minus sin theta at first take a take now what we have to do here 1 upon 1 plus sin theta plus 1 upon 1 minus sin theta we will proceed as we proceed in normal algebraic equations okay plus 1 plus sin theta what i have done cross multiplication now what we have to do 1 minus sin theta plus sin theta 1 plus 1 2 1 plus sin theta 1 minus sin theta a plus b a minus b a square minus b square formula of algebraic expressions okay again 1 minus sin square theta there's a deadlock here now what we will do very easy if there comes any deadlock in the question you have to identify the identity hidden here here the identity hidden is 
sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta. So instead of 1 minus sin square theta right here, cos square theta. Here we have in RHS set square theta. 1 upon cos square theta is what? Set square theta. So right here, 2 set square theta. And this is what? This is RHS. LHS equals to RHS. So, these were easy types of questions and you can do it very easy. But, going to the medium type of questions, we have to at first practice these questions. Practice as much possible these questions to develop our strength to go to the medium one. Okay? So, student, this is second type in easy level questions. Okay? Sin theta upon 1 minus cos theta equals to cosec theta plus cot theta. Now, here we will take this part as LHS. Without thinking, in such type of question, when we see denominator 1 minus cos theta, we will rationalize. And how do, how, how we can conduct that rationalized process? It's very easy. So change the sign in the denominator and copy that here and here similarly. Okay? 1 plus cos theta and again 1 plus cos theta. I have just changed the sign here from minus to plus and in numerator also I have multiplied it and in all denominator also we have, uh, we have multiplied it. Now how can we solve this part? It's very easy now. 1 minus cos theta, 1 plus cos theta. A plus B, A minus B. So it will be, okay, A square minus B square. A square that means 1 square is 1 minus B square cos square theta. Now sine theta into 1 plus cos square theta and 1 minus cos square theta. Now we can apply identity here. Because we have that square part in denominator. This was missing here. So, we achieved this part. And now, from this denominator, we can apply identity. Sin theta, 1 plus cos theta upon sin square plus cos square equals to 1 minus cos square equals to sin square. Always check whether the minus sign is proper or not. How to check? Just write the plain basic identity and then use transposing method and check whether 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. Because the basic mistake you will make here by being overconfident, if we will get here cos square minus 1, cos square theta minus 1, then by getting overconfident you will write here sin square theta. But what will be answer then? Minus sin square theta. Okay? Now, I erase this part. Sin theta, 1 plus cos theta and in denominator sin square theta. This sin theta and this square part gets cancelled 1 plus cos theta upon sin theta. Now it's very easy to achieve this. How? 1 upon sin theta plus cos theta upon sin theta. 1 upon sin theta is cosec theta and cos theta upon sin theta is cot theta. Hence we received RHS. Also you can in exam start from RHS and move on to LHS. But it generally the question is set up like that that you have to start from LHS and it is very easy. Sometimes the question from RHS part can tend to the problem or it can be problematic. Okay. So in paper the settings are like that only. That in LHS part the part will be easy to identify the identity part. Okay. So here we did rationalization and we solved it. Now moving on to our next question. Tan theta minus cot theta equals to 2 sin square theta minus 1 sin theta uh, and cos theta. So here we will start from tan theta minus cot theta. Okay. Now what to do in such case? We have seen that RHS is in sin theta and cos theta. Here only we can get that we have to transform this part into sin theta and cos theta. It's very easy because here we are having tan theta and cot theta. And tan theta can easily be transformed into sin theta and cos theta. How? Like this. Sin theta upon cos theta. Cos theta upon sin theta. Now it's easy. Now you can get the identity. You can here only identify that you will get the identity. Cos theta, sin theta, sin square theta minus cos square theta. Now you must be thinking that sin square theta plus cos square theta is there and we will write one. This will be the biggest mistake. Here we are having minus sign. Please remember, write down the identity in bracket so that you can match it from here. By being confident or, sorry, not confident, overconfident, you will write down one here. But here we don't have the identity. Sin square theta minus cos square theta is there. So what we can do here? See. I have written here 1 minus sin square theta. How? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 
So, 1 minus sin square theta will be what? Cos square theta. So, I have transformed the cos square theta in 1 minus sin square theta from this identity. Now, I am using the identity here to proceed. How? In this part, we got the identity. But here, we are using identity to proceed the deadlock. Okay? Here, we will getting again a deadlock. So, I have used the identity in cos square theta part. Or you can use it here also. But I have used here. Now see what will happen. We will open this bracket. Sin square theta minus 1 plus sin square theta upon cos theta sin theta. Sin square theta plus sin square theta. 2 sin square theta minus 1 upon cos theta sin theta. See, we got RHS. So, from this part, you realized that we will not only get by solving the identity, but we have to use the identity to complete out the, to check out the deadlock here. We got deadlock here, we are in this part. So this was the deadlock here. And we cleared it by using identity in cos square theta part. Okay, so moving on to our next question. This is our next question. 1 minus sin theta, 1 plus sin theta. We will take LHS, okay. See, from sin theta, we have to move, move to set theta to tan theta. Now, we have to convert this expression, this full expression into second tan. So, this will be our aim. Okay, set the aim while solving the question. From starting this, we will set an aim to convert this to second tan part. Okay, so this is our part and its deadlock is here only. How can we solve this type of question? Just now, we solved this type of question in which 1 plus cos theta was there in denominator and again the same type of question is there but with square root. This square root has no meaning. It's very easy to eliminate this square root. So don't take tension about this square root. Take tension about this denominator because this and this doesn't show identity here and whenever you are not able to identify the identity that means you are stuck in a deadlock. Okay and to clear the deadlock no, I am not there. You are only there. So, 1 plus sin theta. We will rationalize again. How? Here we are having plus sign. By taking it there, we will convert it into minus sign. 1 minus sin theta. So, multiply and divide by 1 minus sin theta. Here you can write multiply and divide by 1 minus sin theta. Now what we will do? 1 minus sin theta, 1 minus sin theta. See, it will be eliminated very easily. A plus B, A minus B. So 1 minus sin square theta. This part will be eliminated easily. Okay. Now, 1 minus sin square theta. 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta. Now slowly, when you solve this type of question, those three identities will get fitted into your mind and you can solve those questions very easily without even mugging up those identities. So, practice more and more if you want to eliminate that mugging up part. 1 minus sin theta whole square. It will be very easily eliminated and this will be our part. But we have to set an aim. We have to set an aim to reach second tan. Here, how can we reach second tan? Let's separate this out. 1 upon cos theta, sin theta upon cos theta. 1 upon cos is sec theta and this is tan theta. Here we got RHS. LHS equals to RHS. So students, now we will move on to our highest level in that easy level part. Okay? So, highest level questions are like these types of questions in which you have to solve LHS also and little bit you have to solve RHS also. To reach from LHS to RHS you have to solve both the parts and equate them by gaining equal answers for both the parts. Okay. So let's solve our first part that is LHS. Here we can see cosec, sin, sec, cos. 
I better we do it to sine and cos because from sine and cos we can relate a bit from tan and cot. How sine upon cos is tan and cos upon sine is cot. So sine and cos are the linking parts between both the LHS and RHS. So let's convert this into sine and cos. Here in denominator we have sine theta. So what we will do? We will solve it normally by cos multiplying upon cos theta. While minus sine square theta by minus cos square theta is okay. Now it's very easy because from here we have applied identity. And now cos square theta and cos theta. So we get cos theta into sin theta. So this is our LHS part. So what we will do, we will take the RHS part and convert it into this part. So now we have to take this and our aim is to reach cos and sin. Okay. It's very easy. How we will do? Tan is 1 upon sin theta upon cos theta theta upon sin theta. I will solve it by reciprocal and all. Cos square theta. So we got cos theta into sin theta and this one is the identity. So here it will be 1. So our answer will be cos theta into sin theta. Both are same therefore LHS equals to RHS. So this is the highest type of part in easy part and you can see this is also easy. That's why I have included in easy part. Okay. So this is highest form and you have to solve both simultaneously and equate the answers. So students, now we will be discussing how to identify and solve that particular problem. Listen carefully. Okay. So this is the sum summary part of what we studied throughout the lecture. Okay. steps to solve the problem. First step. The first step will be at first set the aim. Okay. We will set the aim of the problem from LHS to RHS whether we have to reach from LHS to RHS or we have to actually achieve same answer for both LHS and RHS. So this is the aim we set before solving the question. Okay. Arrive at a deadlock. There will be a deadlock where you have to use the identity. Okay, so arrive at a particular deadlock and get stuck there. But you have to proceed and to proceed the third step will be to break the deadlock and to break the deadlock there are two methods. In the highest question we learned one method and the normal questions in which we broke the deadlock by using identity. These are the three steps and you will easily get answers in just three steps.